hello my beautiful babies and welcome back to another video if you guys are new hello my name is ashali so for today's video we're going to be creating this beautiful look so if you guys are interested on today's video make sure to keep on watching Starting our look off, we're taking our pillowy's base in shade number two, and we're going to be carving our brows. Yeah, oh no, I cannot do a look without my pillowy's base. So as soon as I diffuse this all over my eyelids, we're going to be taking a fluffy brush and buffing it in so there is no creases. You guys are probably tired of me using my Be Perfect Carnival palette, but this is the only shade we're going to be taking. This one right here, and I just cannot put this palette down. It's just so amazing. Their colors are so pigmented. So jumping into the look, we're going to take a fluffy brush, and right now I'm just pressing the color in and creating the shape I'm wanting. And as soon as I get that done, we're just working on intensifying the colors everyone has different eye shapes guys so you want to make sure you're taking detailed brushes that fit your eyelids so as you guys see here we are done with no extra product we're going to be taking the same brush and we're just going to be buffing the edges okay i just love to do this technique here because once we go in with our jacqueline hill volume 2 palette we're going to be taking this red shade here and we're going to be adding that color right on top of our first blend this right here gives you more flexibility to be able to blend those two colors together since they're both very very pigmented and dark colors so at this point is about trusting the process blend 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 if you need more color go back but if you don't at this point because the colors are super pigmented we're just going back and forth with no extra product taking this yellow right here and adding this to the brow bone so it can dim down the harshness and also create the gradient effect we are looking for with that red okay on our way to cut our crease with the Garnier cleansing water, we're going to take this Q-tip and create our shape. Now, a little tip, guys, when you are cutting your crease with the Q-tip, make sure you go in just like this. Be very patient. Um, you're not going to take the product out with just one Q-tip. <laughs> so make sure you're going in um, with the first Q-tip and just creating that shape you are wanting to remove and then with the second one it should be able to be a little easier for you to remove and to help the process we're taking our you know makeup remover wipes and just making sure there is no extra product we left behind now cutting our crease with the pillowy's base and we're just creating our shape So we're taking the yellow, orange, and a red shade. And with this brush right here, we're going to create a line. And as I am applying, I'm going to also be blending it, blending the colors in between. So like that, it looks blended and not so harsh where you know where you place the colors okay so believe it or not this is a recreation of an old look i did before i'm gonna put the picture right here it's not the same color combination but back then it was so hard for me to create this look and now it's just so simple that i'm like girl but this is proof that when you do you know practice on your creativity it can get easier and easier guys best friend would be your concealer when you're working or doing a creative look because you can cancel any mistakes you have now we're jumping in with glitter and we're just gonna add like this thin line of course and finally i found my nyx glitter um this is one of my favorite glitters guys like all the colors combined i just love it okay and i had run out of it and i finally found it so this is how everything is looking so now that we are done that's why i like to start with my eyes because we are cleaning any extra product or fallout jumping into face we're going to add some hydration with my rose oil prepping prepping very important step to create a flawless 
finished guys so i did post a short where i explain one of the steps i do before i apply my makeup so go check it out if you haven't so jumping into foundation i'm going to be taking my anastasia beverly hills illuminous foundation i will leave the shade down below and for concealer baby morphe thanks to my good friend pr firecracker for hooking me up this concealer here is one of my favorite at the moment so you can either take a sponge or a brush like i'm doing right now and blending your under eye so i know i go very in details in all my videos about how i blend my under eye and this is gonna have to be a separate video if you guys are interested on that let me know down below because i do get asked how i create that full coverage that smoothness under my eye and what i'm gonna tell you now because i can keep ranting because it's one of my favorite things to talk about but um yeah makeup is a second layer to your skin so you want to make sure you're placing your concealer and just acomodándolo, just placing it and blending it with light pressure you don't want your sponge or brush to move anything because then it's gonna beat the purpose of what you're trying to cover okay so let's move on because i can rant we are taking our air spun and setting our under eye and with the super stay foundation powder we're gonna set our entire face so to warm up our face we're gonna be taking our morphe palette and just warming everything up guys i for sure need new products but i'm working with what i got okay babies so these are the products that i love and once i run out girl you know i'm running to the store but just work with me so like that i can be able to um invest in getting new makeup okay so of course finishing everything up with our under eye for my waterline i did add my blank canvas so like that it can open up the eyes just a little bit and we added everything we had in our top eye in our bottom and of course to highlight our cheekbones we're going to use our um artist couture highlighter called a summer haze i am so out of this already um <laughs> it's so sad but to set everything up we're gonna take our morphe spray and to fan everything out we're gonna take our glam banisi handheld fan so i like to set my face and then jump with um the blush to get like that filter looking blushy look guys i need to try this um what is it instead of powder brush blush the other blush cream blush <laughs> guys i went off to a whole different thing but i want to try that and just wait on it okay jumping into lips we're gonna take our trendsetter lip liner and finally a different combo is the dose uh what is it dose of color lipstick and of course i will leave the shade down below and we are done how are you guys feeling this look of course i'm probably going to recreate all of my old looks one thing i love that i kept doing was create looks and take pictures of it even though i didn't like it so like that i can definitely go back and recreate so if you're interested in also one of those or series or those type of videos just let me know down below as well i am so happy that um i'm able to film because this is just my piece i just love doing this for you guys so i hope i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys